What's happening everybody? How are we doing? How are we feeling? Uh, my name is Pete and I just want to talk about my Grubhub experience so far. So I've been doing Grubhub for over a month now. Uh, I've been doing pretty well with it. I've been working as much as humanly possible. Uh, in the area where I am working, the, um, the minimum hourly pay is $12 an hour. Not bad. And, uh, you know, I've been trying to do over 40 hours a week. I also supplement my income elsewhere. But, um, you know, I just wanted to uh, make a quick video or just a video in general. Just, you know, kind of talking about what I like, what I don't like. Um, you know, and, and I just figured I'd put it out there for anybody who's new to Grubhub who uh, wants to know about it. So, things that I like are the fact that, um, you know, let's say you do, you know, you work, well, let's say you work two hours, right? And you only do one delivery. The minimum for my area is 20, you know, $12 an hour. So you work two hours, that would be $24. Um, and if you only do one delivery uh, and you make you know a two dollar tip on it plus the delivery fee which is 350 uh, per delivery you know and you only make what what is that for like 550 plus the mileage so let's say it's like 50 cents a mile let's say six bucks if you only make the six bucks in the two hours that you're working Grubhub will kick in the additional money to bring it up to twenty four dollars so as long as you accept all of your orders you're good you know and i feel like that is an important thing to know because um you know it's good to it's good to know because if the market as they call it is slow you're still getting paid which is nice um but with that being said uh other things that i like is that i get to work pretty much close to home i can work my own hours you know it's just it's nice you know what i mean to be able to uh, to be able to do that. Uh, they pay you every Thursday, or at least for me, every Thursday, direct deposit right into my bank account, uh, usually some point over the night, and that's that. Um, also, what I like is that, uh, you know, you can choose between 11 a.m. and 11 p.m. when you want to work, and it's seven days a week. Uh, I'm sure there's other things that I like, but those are the main ones. Things that I don't like is that they 1099 you and if you're not familiar with what this means is they treat you as an independent contractor and what that means is that you uh, have to pay the taxes they don't take taxes out of your money so when it comes to tax time you got to save up you know I don't know 30 percent or whatever it is to pay in taxes but the good thing is if you rent a car if you lease a car like I did I actually leased a car for this job because uh, I had a Jeep and it was killing my gas. So I was able to lease a car for a couple hundred bucks a month uh, that was good on gas. And uh, I can write that off. Uh, I could write off my oil changes. I can write off anything involving the car for my business because this is technically like my business. It is my business, you know, through Grubhub. But it kind of sucks at the same time. I'd rather taxes be taken out. But uh, another thing I'm not too crazy about is the fact that they're, uh, you know, Basically how it works, how you pick your schedule is Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, every week is um, the times where you pick your schedules. As long as you accept every order, you don't miss any orders, your uh, tenants rate is good, and you don't drop your blocks, which are schedules, um, then you get put in like the premier category where every Thursday at 10 a.m. you get first dibs on the schedule for the upcoming week. But let's say you miss an order or you drop a block, then you get pushed to Friday at 10 a.m. And if you keep kind of like screwing it up, you go to Saturday and then Sunday. Usually your first week or two, you'll be on the Sunday one. So you got to really pick up the scraps of everyone else. But the good thing with that is during the week, you know, people will drop blocks like it happens every day. And then you could pick up extra schedules and extra time slots to make more money and do more deliveries. Um, and the other thing that I'm not too crazy about is sometimes people will scam you with tips. What I mean is when they place an order, what, what might happen is they might, um, 
you know, they, they might say that they'll pay you cash because technically you're really supposed to tip through the app, but there's an option to pay cash. And what'll happen is it'll show $0 as tip. So you go to their house or their apartment or their office or wherever, wherever they're, they're, they ordered from and you give them their food and they don't give you anything and you don't get anything other than the delivery fee of the $3.50 and the, um, and the mileage pay. So you get kind of screwed out of that and you don't get a tip and it's in, you know, Grubhub's not gonna reimburse you for that, you know? Also another thing that can kind of be lousy is uh, the other day, for instance, um, I was working till 10 or 11 at night, it was 11 o'clock, and, I, and, and or I was completing a delivery and then another delivery popped up and it was like a half an hour late, meaning that nobody picked it up. So I was already late getting to it. It was way out of the way, like a 15 minute drive to get there. And by the time I got there, the restaurant was remaking the person's order. So as a courtesy, I called the customer to tell them that they're remaking the order. And by the time I had contacted him, he was like, oh, thanks, but um, I actually uh, canceled the order and I ordered through a competing a competitor uh, delivery company, I'm not gonna name it. So I got screwed over and it the delivery disappeared out of my queue uh, of deliveries and I drove out there for nothing and I wasted my gas and I put mileage on the car that I didn't have to do. So there's a lot of pros and there's a lot of cons, but if you can really uh, grab as many time blocks as possible uh, and, and if you really dedicate yourself and work, I mean, you can make upwards of 900 to a thousand dollars a week. I haven't come that close. Uh, I've done like about $600 in a week, but again, I'm still kind of new to it and I'm still not getting the premier, uh, schedules. Cause usually like once a week I'll, I'll miss an order due to like something wrong with my phone or something. And, uh, that really sucks cause it screws me up. But anyways, it, uh, there's a lot of pros and cons. That's really what it comes out to be. I may do like a follow-up video to this, uh, just kind of talking about it. But whatever the case is, it um, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to say the very least. And uh, it, it's really actually kind of changed my life. I love to drive. I like to meet new people. I'm a very customer service oriented person. I like to make sure people are happy with my service and everything. So. Um, if you ever see me pop up on your, uh, on your Grubhub thing, you can guarantee you're going to get fast delivery, fast service. And, uh, I always check all the orders. That's another thing too. Make sure you check your orders. Uh, but if you have any questions, if you're a new person to uh, Grubhub or you're thinking about doing it, uh, leave a comment and I'll try and get back to you as best as possible. Uh, the best thing to do is probably get at me on like social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff. Uh, I'll have links eventually in the description down below. And uh, if you wouldn't mind, if you found this video helpful or whatever, hit that like button, subscribe to this channel. We're doing a huge Xbox One and PlayStation 4 giveaway at 1,000 subscribers. So, you know, subscribe, it's free. And uh, if you have any questions, leave them down below. And today's secret comment code is going to be the food dude. Comment the food dude down below. Anyways, guys, my name is Pete. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, I'll see you uh, whenever I see you. All right. Happy eating and delivering.